Last week, MSU students, families, and colleagues all felt the heavy emotional toll of a mass shooting here on campus. This week, we sat down with MSP Chief Informational Officer to talk about these situations because we know they can happen again. You, you can't stop worrying about it. It's not going to stop. Uh, we can, I know there's stuff out there trying to change laws, trying to make people safer, but you're still going to have people that can get access to weapons, even if it by criminal means. So you have to always be aware out there. I don't think this world is going to get any safer. First thing people should do is call 911. If you, if you know of an active shooter or you think or some, even if you think someone may be going to take an active shooter role, call 911 because then they're the ones that are going to dispatch the police. The police will get there quickly and then they'll investigate. Uh, don't call your parents because that's just wasting time. Uh, don't call a friend or start going to social media. Call 911 and they will dispatch the resources. It's hard for me to tell someone how to act in a situation like that, but we ask that remain calm or try to do your best. That could be through breathing. You're, you're going to be scared, and that's okay. Uh, but the main thing is find someplace safe, someplace you can get to where you, you know you're going to be safe, and just wait. Um, there are the three things we do is uh, uh, run, hide, or fight. So if you can run and there's an active shooter situation and you can get out through a window, you get away as far away as you can from the situation, go find a police officer or something, uh, do that. Hide if you can. That's the second thing we ask them to do, hide. And if it comes down to where you're hiding and that person that means to do harm to you uh, comes into that room, you, you got to fight. It, it's you or them and it's better, better to fight for your life. You're going to feel safe or you're going to know you're safe is when police start contacting. Once we get to you, we're there to protect you. We're going to make sure nothing happens to you. I think a year from now, again, it'll be the anniversary. We're going to remember these three kids that died, the ones that were injured, and everybody that was affected by this. I'm hoping that it's going to bring the community closer. Uh, maybe we don't sweat small stuff like we have been. Everybody's not so quick to snap at each other. Uh, I'm hoping that that helps people realizing that everything could be gone in a moment's notice. So you got to, you got to embrace that.